Get off the road! All right. Hi, I'm Mike of Mike's Road Trip, and on this episode, I feature Undiscovered Tuscany, brought to you by Allianz Travel. Now, Tuscany is a very special part of Italy. It's romanticized in movies and immortalized by authors and artists. And it's on the bucket list of those who dream of drinking wine and dining al fresco under a Tuscan sun. So come along with me and let me show you around. Everyone is familiar with the Tuscan cities of Florence, Pisa, and Siena. But in this video, I take you beyond the popular parts of Tuscany to share some incredible but lesser known places. Suvaretto is a marvelous medieval hamlet surrounded by ancient walls. The village features stupendous Tuscan architecture cobblestone alleys, shaded colonnades, and evocative churches. And not surprisingly, Suvaretto is on the list of most beautiful villages of Italy. Nearby are some fantastic wineries spas reminiscent of old Roman bathhouses, top-notch restaurant options, and some stunning coastline with a hilltop castle providing sweeping views. Pitigliano has an unmistakable skyline, which makes it visible from long distances. Pitigliano has an ancient past with centuries of changes in civilizations and cultures, with a surreal charm emanating throughout. This is an area dominated by Etruscans back in the 7th to 5th century BC, well before the Roman Empire. While Serrano is not a completely unique hilltop village, this town is definitely one of a kind, and it's less touristy than Pitigliano, but with all the charm. The town of Serrano is literally carved out of tufo rock, creating a captivating combination of towers and alcoves to explore that will give you a look at small village life in Tuscany while making you ponder the past. While visiting Pitigliano and Serrano, I highly recommend staying at Sant'Egle for a few days. It is the perfect home base to explore this Etruscan region of Tuscany. However, I have to warn you, you will have to force yourself to go and explore as this is a very relaxing place with lots of on-site activities. While in the area, don't miss the thermal waters of Saturnia, an exciting stop while on a Tuscany road trip with its terraced pools and inviting blue waters. Montepinciolano is another medieval hilltop town surrounded by vineyards and is known for its Nobile Red wine. Here you'll see artisans at work with lots of wine bars and vinegar and olive oil shops. There are caves and tunnels under the town that were used to connect the grand palaces. Today, these tunnels are the perfect environment for aging wine and vinegar. Almost all the wine shops in town have their own slice of the underground. Pienza was named for Pope Pius II, who was born here in the early 15th century. This is another wonderful hilltop city to explore. The views are breathtaking, and so too is the superb Renaissance architecture. 
One of the best wine tasting experiences I had in all of Tuscany was in Pienza at Andrucci Tenementi. Well, that's a look at Undiscovered Tuscany, five amazing places beyond Florence. I'd like to thank Allianz Travel for making this video possible. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more road trip travel videos. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.